Hi everyone! I'm going to give you a really quick and simple way to teach students about the structure of a muscle cell. If you remember, muscle cell structure can be very complicated, pretty difficult to teach. We're talking about myofibrils and fascicles and epimesium and paramesium and students just don't get it. Remember our students are visual learners so anything we can do to help them picture this information is going to be a bonus. I'm going to show you how to recreate that diagram using crayons and colored paper. It's really that simple. So the first thing you should tell your students is to imagine that the wax of one crayon, one single crayon, is equivalent to a muscle fiber. Long and skinny, just the plain wax of the crayon. Now each individual muscle fiber has a wrapper. And what I've done here is simply take the paper off of this crayon, keeping it intact. So I put the paper around the crayon. Now you can tell your students you have a muscle fiber that's wrapped with its own individual wrapping paper. That wrapping paper is what you call the endomesium. Okay? So muscle fiber, individual muscle fibers are wrapped with endomesium. If you take several muscle fibers, all individually wrapped with epime or with endomesium, excuse me, they're all individually wrapped with endomesium, and we bundle them all together. If we take those bundles now and wrap them with their own wrapping paper, their own fascia, we make a fascicle. So while I'm demonstrating this to the class, I go ahead and build the fascicle right in front of them. So here's a bunch of my individual muscle fibers, and I always put my demo muscle fiber in the middle. Here's my individual muscle fibers, all wrapped together. I hold them in place with some tape. All those individual muscle fibers are wrapped together with the wrapping paper or fascia. That fascia now is the perimesium. So again, we still have our individual muscle fiber, that first crayon we started with, that's wrapped with its paper, that's the endomesium. We take a bunch of those muscle fibers, put them together, we wrap them with another layer of paper, paper. that fascia is the paramecium, and this whole bundle is now a fascicle. So before class I also prepare a few other fascicles so they can see how these fascicles will all fit nicely together. Okay. All I've done is wrap up a bunch of crayons and construction paper. So we've gone from the muscle fiber, the paper of the endomesium, a bunch of muscle fibers together, it's called a fascicle, and each fascicle is wrapped with paramecium. Now if I take a bunch of fascicles and I wrap all those together using different colored construction paper, it's really important to use lots of color and lots of hands-on experience. Remember, our learners are very visual these days. So now I've wrapped all of these fascicles together. The outer wrapping, the green paper now, is called the epimesium. The epimesium surrounds a bunch of individual fascicles. This whole thing together is called a muscle. And it's important to point out that the epimesium on both ends will extend to become a tendon. But this will give the students an easy visual to see how all of these parts are related. Okay? You can enhance it a little bit if you want to stick one muscle fiber out the way they do in all of the pictures. There you go. That way you can see the muscle fiber, the endomesium, the fascicle, the orange paper would be the paramecium, the whole bundle together would be the muscle, and the green paper, the wrapping of the whole muscle, would be the epimesium. Alright, so have fun and get your students engaged.